Reef DVM is coming at you today with an update on uh, how we're doing on the build. We added the uh, automatic feeding station by the Neptune Apex. Um, neat little device, actually. I think it's a feeder that's uh, uh, due. Um, these kind of things are really nice. So basically, we uh, got it the other day. Um, we opened uh, the package up, took a look at all the components. It's fairly simple and how it operates, uh, just like any device that plugs into the uh, Neptune Apex. It has a USB cord that goes from the device to any USB hub that's located on the Apex. It then uh, self-injects itself into the program, you could say. And, uh, of course, at that point, then you can um, see on your dashboard the word feeder, and then you can set the feeder up um, appropriately, either by the, the quick setup method or by the little bit more taxing method where you go under advanced and type in what you wanted to do. Uh, the only headache uh, with the install for us was is that we had to do an upgrade uh, to the firmware and that is not too difficult but it takes just a little bit more time um, and certainly it uh, took one call to tech support. Must admit um, Neptune did call me back and walk me through it, the firm update, and it went well. So this is all the component stuff. Uh, they gave us a little bit of food. They uh, packaged it up pretty nice here in bubble wrap, which is really good. Um, and uh, certainly it looks like kind of a light, compact unit. Should be able to sit over most people's tanks. Obviously it says not to get it wet. I guess that worries me just a tad because water does splash when these things are sitting on top of a tank. But uh, hopefully it won't, uh, it won't have too much... Uh, issue with any moisture or anything like that. So these are all the components it came with, pretty self-explanatory. Um, as far as hooking it up, uh, again there was, remember the, the firmware thing that we had to do with our main main unit, but the uh, bottom piece is kind of a click and snap on method, and then it's got this nice little spinner on it here that you can kind of slide back and forth to whatever width um, your tank edge is. And then of course on the back it's got two USB plugins for our sake we only needed one we plugged it in and then ran it down to one of the apex uh, eight power bars down there and it was pretty much uh, ready to go it also comes with some little rubber feet if you gotta set it on something nice and it comes with some velcro to attach to so here it is installed inside the tank um, it's pretty sleek it's nice looking um, this should allow us to do what we want to do uh, we set up our time so that at numerous times of the day the pumps shut down for a couple minutes while this thing runs. As you can hear it running, you can see it working here. This is how it performs. It's a little bit clicky sounding. I don't think that's a bad thing though. That way at least I know when I'm in the room. If it's at that time of day when it's supposed to go off, I'll know when it's going off even if I have the cabinet door shut. And that's as simple as it goes. Now, the actual cycle of how fast it spins and how many times it rotates can be changed, which is kind of nice. So if you have a larger pellet, you can have it go around a couple times or uh, turn slowly, I guess. If you have a very small pellet, you can have it, you know, just do it once because it's going to dump a lot in. It also has a little adjuster on the inside for the size of material, which will help too. Sometimes I like to leave that a little bit more open due to clogging. Um, this could clog a little bit because it is directly over the tank where there's moisture so I'll give you an update as to how that goes when we start using stuff. Traditionally most clogging occurs when you use flakes not pellets and since I'm not a flake person I don't think I'll have too much issue with this. We tend to use pellets. Anyways this is the automatic feeding station by Neptune. Appreciate you watching folks. Please like or subscribe to support us and we'll continue to put out great videos like this. Thank you.